Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love reading for how does your love interest truly feel about you right now? So guys, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. Also, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. I, I don't have readings going on right now, so all of my personal readings are closed at the moment until October 1st. They'll be open back up again. But in the meantime, I do have a free reading contest going on, so all the details are at the end of this video, so stick with me till the end. And also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com, and all the information is in the description box below. I'm going to be using multiple decks today, guys, so let's get as much information we can. I want to very do a very depth reading for you guys. Okay, we're probably going to use about three decks here, possibly four, so let's see what happens here. All right, so I want you to think about this person. This reading can be for singles, couples, anyone between, or anyone who needs love messages, and you can think about this person while shuffling, whoever this person is that you have in mind. All right, so how does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does this person feel about the romance? Okay, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'm going to straighten those cards out. Give me a second here, guys. I'm also going to be using the old style Lenormand for our clarifier. How does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to Okay, so it's the other deck here. And then we're going to use the Eye of Zen. How does Leo's love interest, the one that I'm for, the one I want to know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so let's just straighten this out so you guys can see all the cards that we have here. Okay, so let's first start out with the first card here. This person feels defeat it. They feel like everything is coming at them at once. They feel like they're trying to get to the point of the issue here. They feel like they don't know if they should stand up and fight or walk away, but they want clarity here. It's like they want to put their sword in the sand, like, here's why I stand, okay? Um, I feel like this person is really stressing and they have a lot of anxiety and a lot of worry because of this defeated energy that they have. This person feels like you are a potential opportunity of passion for them, Ace of Wands energy, or they may feel wary that you may have a new potential opportunity of passion, okay? And that's also another reason why they may feel this defeated energy. Let me just move this out the way. Um, so fives talk about some kind of challenge or change here. Nines talk about them fulfilling their desires and fulfilling their wishes here when it comes to an opportunity. So let's clarify further to see exactly what's going on here. So we got the clouds card energy. We have the house card energy. And we have the whip card energy. Yeah, this person definitely feels confused and defeated. They worrying about, you know, stability and stableness of this connection. Or this person also could feel that there is some kind of arguments or fights here. Um, or hurt or pain about this potential opportunity of passion, Ace of Wands energy. Yeah, this person wants some kind of healing and some, some sense of stability and stableness, and they feel like they want some kind of choice to be made here. Okay, let's keep going. And this hurt, this hurt or this arguments or this, this also can talk about, since we talk about the Ace of Wands being underneath that, that uh, whip card can represent um, passionate energy or passionate exercises, okay? And the sense of confusion. And they're worried about something pertaining to close to home, house and family, or stable situation. Okay, let's keep going. Ace of Pentacles energy. Four of Wands energy. Knight of Wands energy. So this person really wants something stable with you. That's what they feel like. They want an offer put on the table for something stable. 
um, because they feel like there is this sense that, um, you know, there's a lot of moving around when it comes to passions. So, um, like almost like uh, this player kind of energy going on. Um, they feel like they want something solid here. They want something stable. They want this foundation here. Lily's card energy. Guarding card energy. And child card energy. Yeah, this person feels like you have a lot of options and choices here. And they feel like, all right, I need to be patient here because I feel like I want an opportunity for a long-term commitment. I feel like there could be this sense of wanting to go out with you with the garden card energy, or they could be feeling like there is other people involved with the situation. Okay. This person feels like um, they want a new situation, a fresh start, maybe even a child start a family, but they feel like there may be a lack of commitment there with the Knight of Wands energy. Um, because that's why they feel this defeated energy if I go in with that card and this confusion here about it. Um, and this, this may feel like they feel like they're hurt about that or they feel like there is a lot of passion and chemistry. So they'll have a lot of passion and chemistry for you, but it's like they, they really want, they feel like they really want something serious here. And they feel like um, they just want to enjoy the situation, enjoy the moment and be playful with it. Um, so let me keep going here. Okay, so we see communication because of the fact they feel com confusion here. They feel like they want some kind of decision to be made here for some huge change. Or there's, there's, a, um, there's a thought within them that they're going to be cut away or cut out. Like they're going to get a message to, uh, of, you know, that you're going to cut them out their life. And they're going to be shocked and surprised about this. This person really feels like they're missing you and they're obsessed with you. And they feel like there could be an ex-partner involved with the situation who maybe you have a child with, with the child card energy being below that. And, um, we're, and that's where they also feel like maybe there could be a player kind of energy. They may feel like you're seeing that person passionately. Let's also take a look at some other cards here. So I'm going to look at this deck as well. So what's going on my Leo's love interest? How does my Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, that I want to know about, how does this person feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. This person is looking at the situation and hoping that they don't have regret here. Okay. Because they're looking at themselves in the mirror and they're, they're just focused on what has happened. This person feels like they want loyalty here with a doll card energy. And this person is hoping that things can turn in their favor, that they can have an abundance here. This person does feel like they love you with the heart card energy. This person is hoping for something of a surprise about love or gift here. And they feel like you make them very happy with the sun card energy. Let's keep going. Okay, so we have the death card energy. We have the eight of cups energy. We have the page of swords energy. I feel like this person feels like you're going to just end the connection, walk away from them, and they feel like they're going to be very naive or it's going to be done in an immature way, the page of swords energy. Bouquet card energy is talking about a gift of a letter, a message, document, and something to do with a person. Now, with the person card, it could be you or it could be the love interest. So the bouquet card could talk about end the attraction or ending something surprising or ending some th things very in a su surprising way through a letter, a message, or document about saying you want to walk away. And then we could see this could be them or it could be you, a person card, or because of another person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Going further on this, this person feels like they want to make the effort here. And it looks like they're going to make a decision very soon about this because they do feel like you have other people that's involved in the situation. So this person um, feels like they want to send you a letter um, to make some kind of decision or they feel like they're going to receive some kind of letter about... Um, 
cutting away or cutting them out, which is really going to shock and surprise them. They feel like they really miss you and they're obsessed with this energy of something to do with this ex. They feel like they want to make this effort here with you and they want to make some kind of decision or they want you to make a decision when it comes to people. Okay. Going further on this. Garden card again is coming up as a central theme. So I feel like this person does feel like you just, you're, you're seeing other people. This person feels really confused about um, house, family, close to home, and arguments and fights for a long time when it comes to people and something to do with a child, fresh start, new opportunity. They have this attraction for you or they feel like they're going to receive something from you in a letter, a message, a document about a person. Okay. All right, my beautiful Leos. I love you guys so much. Um, the next reading that's coming out that could give you a lot more information as well as I'm coming out with either the weeklies or the bi-weeklies. You guys can let me know in the comments below which one you want me to do next. Um, also for the free reading contest, I'm going to pick in two people for a free personal reading. All you have to do is put twin flame in the comments below. I'll see you guys in another day or two. I love you guys so much. I did also do a pick a card on a message that you need to hear right now. So you may want to check that out. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your next couple weeks and I will see you guys soon.